Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm in my home garage messing with these panels again. <laughs> um, I've done tons of testing with these panels and other cars. These panels are just really, because I haven't had a lot of time to do all this testing when I'm working on uh, boats and cars and that kind of thing. I've been so busy, I've just got to get the jobs done and then get home for other personal projects and uh, do all this testing. So um, I'm going to show you what's happening right now. All right. So here's the two, um, I believe they're Volkswagen fenders. These actually are highly sought after um, fenders from a car that a buddy of mine uh, was, I guess, fixing up or whatever. I picked them up for him and he didn't need them. So I kept them. But anyway, as you probably remember from the other videos, if you're following this stuff, this is a very dirty, but the fender that was coated in the front here, you can see the tape line and then the crazy haze in the back uh, where nothing's been done. But this front portion has absolutely been coated. It's uh, about a week and a half old now, so it's very cured. Um, and I have some 2,500 grit sandpaper right here in my hand. Um, I already did a test section here on this fender, the shitty one, uh, with 2000 grit and it worked great. Um, except for, I don't want to work that hard to get sanding scratches out right now for this demo. So I'm literally going to lighten it up a little bit with 2500 grit. I'm going to show, I'm going to wipe that panel down so that there's, it's got fiberglass dust on it. I've been working on some things. Anyway. Um, I'm going to wipe it down so it's free of random debris and contaminants, and then we're going to sand it. Uh, we're going to sand a section with uh, this 2500 grit wet or dry Diablo silicon carbide waterproof abrasive paper. You can't read any of that. There you go. All right. Well, um, so with that said, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to sit this right there. This is just water in this bottle, nothing fancy. So I'm just going to mist it a little bit. You got some smart cut over there. Um, I also have a brand new heavy cutting compound. Um, it is not water based and VOC free like Infinite Cut infinite finish and smart cut and smart finish both all four of those are absolutely uh, water-based and voc free um, the difference between the two is the abrasives um, there's the same amount of both in them but the smart cut and smart finish have the smart uh, abrasives the custom tempered abrasives anyway more on that later but i've wiped the panel down and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give just so, I'm just gonna sand in this section here. So I'm gonna wet this out. I'm gonna wet the paper a little bit. Now I would do a lot more prep if I was actually sanding a car. However, I fold this into thirds, put the paper down, scuff her up really nice. Um, you can see right here that I'm taking off material. You can see that. It's very obvious in the liquid there. So I've sanded with the 2500 grit. So now we're going to wipe the panel down and then I'm going to polish that section. Let's get it dry so you can see the polished area. This is pretty cool stuff guys i mean this coating is really amazing um it's more like a clear coat than it is a coating but it is absolutely a coating um so you can see that patch right there okay uh you can also see that this is completely free of orange peel however whenever i sprayed this stuff on with the house sprayer if you're following these videos you know what's up uh if you haven't seen the last videos you should look at them um, but I sprayed this down with the house sprayer. When I sprayed it, it was crazy orange peel. I'm talking about really bad. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do here? Well, 
You just wait, you give it a couple of hours and it self levels. Um, this is only one coat of the actual clear coat, but so you put one coat on, that's more of like a sacrificial layer that will last three to five years. Two coats is literally permanent. It doesn't go away at that point. So you got the thickness, you got the build you want, um, and you got the longevity that everybody wants. So with that said, I'm gonna go at this with a little bit of Smart Cut and uh, the Harbor Freight BA and um, a four inch uh, orange buff and shine pad. Not sure how this is gonna work out here by myself, but we're gonna do it. So here's the polish, here's the pad, let's do it. I'm gonna try to hold it with my feet. Check it out. <laughs> All the script. Well, no, they're not. Okay, still got some scratches there. Notice this, these surrounding areas. Um, yeah, I didn't quite get it all. But um, what I probably should be doing is stepping it up to a rotary. Because that's generally how you'd get scratches out. But all my detailing career, I've been showing you that you can do everything with a DA as you can with a rotary. So here we go. Interesting, to say the least trying to shut that machine off all right so we have compounded we have not finished polished but looks pretty good to me oh yeah yeah that looks awesome get some sun in there yeah so I got pretty much all the scratches out this, I'm not trying to get them all to go away. I'm trying to show you that um, this product can absolutely be um, corrected and not remove the product. That's where we're at. That's what we're trying to do. Um, we're trying to be able to, if this clear coat gets scratches in it, yes, you can fix them without going back into the factory clear coat. That's the answer. Um, I knew that it was going to be possible because of the crazy, now well, you got 9H hardness, you got 8H, 7H, whatever, um, and I don't know if you know about the, Mo, I think it's the Mohs scale of hardness, uh, 9H is the hardest before you get to a diamond, um, and 10H essentially doesn't really exist, is the thing, so, um, uh, diamond would be 10H, but in a coating, if a 108H existed, this would be it. It's super hard. You absolutely can sand it. You can polish it. You can, 
You can do anything to this you would your factory clear coat, but better because this is not, it's, this is gonna resist scratches a lot more than your factory clear. So there you go, guys. Um, there's proof in the pudding right there that you can, uh, you can absolutely um, sand and polish this stuff back out without going through it. Now, all I put on that fender was one coat. I recommend two for it to last indefinitely. Uh, a single coat should last indefinitely as well, depending on what kind of environmental factors and non-environmental as, as far as uh, who's sanding on it, what's going on, um, what's happening. So depending on the situation, one coat would be fine, but I recommend two coats to get the build that you want to really have extra, extra, extra thickness. So um, I guess that's it. If you got questions about any of the demo I just did, 813-846-4406 is my cell. What other product line manufacturer gives you the cell phone number? None. I do. I do that because I care about you. I want to help you. Um, so as far as what's happening, that fender looks awesome. The area I polished, it, there's no doubt that it looks glossy and amazing. And there's also no doubt that that, uh, that single coat of coating or clear clear coating clear coat whatever you want to call it still up in the air on that you can tell that the gloss is still there like the rest of it so it's obvious i didn't go through it but if i had it would be a little bit duller on the, underneath there uh most likely uh and you'd see an area uh but look at that guys sandable Take it to the body shop. Let it ride, baby. All right, if you need me, let me know. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation's group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and things like this that you want to see. Uh, these coatings are going to be amazing. Launch is probably March 1st, 2022. Uh, I will be doing a training on these coatings and on general detailing stuff uh, coming up this January 2022. Uh, so if you want to be a part of that, inquire, send me a text message, give me a call, send me a message on Facebook, go into the group, let's talk about it. Um, but you need to be an approved installer to uh, get me to sell you this stuff. So I've got to screen you and approve you. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day.